Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing a review of two of my favorite contact lens brands. And these are the contacts that I always wear, like in Instagram pictures or in videos when I'm wearing colored contacts. Um, these are the two that I've been wearing. The ones that I've been wearing the longest, like if you go to my Instagram and look at my pictures, are going to be these Desio ones in mint touch. And I just recently bought these uh, Solotica lenses. And I, oh, these are the Solotica lenses in natural quartzo. And so in this video, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to try both of them on for you guys so you can see what they look like on camera. I will insert pictures of what they look like when you take pictures and all of that good stuff. So that's the first thing I'm going to do. And then I will go into pricing, which one do I think is better, um, which one do I recommend, and all of that stuff. So let's start with the try-on. Okay, so I'm sitting really up close to the camera. Don't judge the eyeliner or anything today. Um, I just want to show you guys what it looks like up close. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put one of the Desio contacts in this eye and the other uh, Solatia contact in this eye. So they are different colors, so I wouldn't compare more like about the colors, but I would compare with the way they look. I will start off putting the Desio one in. And usually I just put a drop of um, Visine in the lens so it will stick to my eye. Just blink it in. So the, uh, this one is the Desio Mint Touch in this eye. I put the Selectica in the next eye. This one is taking a little more adjusting too in my eye. This one is making my eye tear up just a bit, but I think it's because my eyes are pretty used to these Desio ones already. So if you guys can see, this is what they look like. This one is the Solatica in uh, Natural Quartzo, and this one is the Desio in Mint Touch. So here's what they look like next to each other, and I will zoom in on both of them so you guys can see what they look like on film. So here is the Desio one. And here is the Solatica one. So I'm going to actually put in the Solatica ones in both eyes because I actually like these ones a little bit better. So I'm going to do that right now. Hopefully you guys got a good look of what they look like up close. I will be inserting pictures I took last night of them like in the dark because right now you're seeing them in natural lighting. This is just my window, no artificial lighting. So this is what they look like with natural sunlight. So I'm going to be taking out the Desio one and putting in both of the Solatica ones to talk about like the specs and which ones I like better. So here is a picture of the Mint Touch Desio contact with flash for my iPhone. Here is the Solatica contact with my iPhone with flash. And here is a picture of both of them next to each other without flash. And then I inserted some selfies wearing both of the contacts. On the left I am wearing the Solatica ones and on the right I am wearing the Desio ones. By the way, here's just a shot of my natural eye with the Solatica contacts. You can tell it really covers like a dark brown eye very well. So this is my first time wearing the Solatica lenses on film. Um, in all my other videos where I'm wearing color contacts, I am wearing the Desio Mint Touch contacts. So I just wanted to get um, some footage talking with these ones on just so I could see how they feel and stuff because I just got them yesterday. So I've started to get a feel for them, but I just want to see how they look on film as well. So if you want to see um, pictures and videos, just go to my YouTube or go to my Instagram, um, which will be linked in the down bar below to see pictures and videos of the Mint Touch Desio contacts. So I am wearing um, the Solatica ones right now, like I said. And so I will talk about which ones I personally like better. So price-wise, the Solatica ones are probably about almost double of what I paid for the Desio ones. The Desio, I think they came out to like $60 with tax, and these ones, the Solatica ones I'm wearing right now, came out to about, I think, $110 with tax and shipping. I think the Desio shipping was free, if I do recall, and uh, the Solatica shipping definitely was not free. I bought the Desio ones straight from the Desio website, and I bought these Solatica ones from, I think it was called paralenses.com, I'll link it below. Um, I don't have a code for you, but I will still link the website below. And so overall, the look of them, I think the Solatica ones look a lot more real in person. Like I would feel a lot more comfortable wearing these every day um, than the Desio ones. Because I feel like the Desio ones, you could really tell just how fake they are when you see them in person. They look really good on film and I like that. But up close, I think the Solatica ones just look a lot better. I haven't really taken many pictures in um, the ones I'm wearing right now yet. So I will let you guys know in the comments um, which ones I like when it comes to photographing them and stuff. But yeah, in terms of comfort, 
Uh, these Sologica ones are super, super comfortable, surprisingly. Um, the only thing is my eye, there was a bit of irritation when I first put it on. Um, it seems like these ones cover actually more of the brown part of my eye than the Desio ones do. And I've tried different colors of Desio contacts, and I, uh, they seem to cover my eye all the same. Um, but I just like the mint touch color the best, that's why I wear them the most. But yeah, so in terms of comfort, I think Sologica wins so far because the Desio ones, I find that they could be very uncomfortable on my eyes personally. They make my eyes pretty bloodshot, so if I'm wearing them for like a night out or something, I have to carry a bottle of like Visine to constantly be moisturizing my eyes because these really dry out my eyes, which I don't particularly like in a colored contact lens. Um, in terms of shipping and stuff, these Sologica ones, I highly recommend buying them from where I bought them. Uh, like I said, I think it was Paralenses. They came in like, I think six days, five to six days is when they came, and the shipping was supposed to be like 10 to 20, but these came super, super quick. The shipping is pretty expensive, so these guys are going to be a lot more expensive than the Desio, but I think it's worth it to pay because, I don't know, the shipping was just so great. Um, let me tell you about the Desio contacts and why I don't ever promote them on my channel. This is the first time I'm talking about them whenever people ask about them. I actually don't say what colored contacts I wear because I don't actually like Desio as a brand. I do like the contact lens overall, wear it in a lot of pictures and stuff, but I usually don't tag them because of the bad experience that I had with them when I first bought these contacts. So I bought two different colors of contacts. I bought Icy Blue and Mint Touch in the Desio contacts, and this was about maybe six months ago and so I ordered them and I had to wait forever like I think it was like a month and a half or something and I was wondering are they even coming like I'm not sure and then one day I looked at my door and it looked like uh, UPS had came and I didn't uh, or USPS had came and I wasn't there to sign for it so it was at the post office and that's where I was told to go pick it up so I dropped to the post office and I get there they hand me my package and my package looks like it's been ripped open and retaped I believe I do have pictures of this, if not my sister probably has pictures of it because I will insert them. So here's one of the emails that I sent to Desio and basically they replied to me saying that I didn't have enough proof that the package was damaged in transit. Even though the package was not stamped with a damage in transit stamp, that means that they couldn't help me. So after I replied that like the package didn't have some sort of stamp indicating that it was damaged during the transit, that's when they stopped replying to me. But yeah, so the package was ripped open and looked like it was retaped. And when I went to my car and I opened it up, um, the there was the boxes for the contact lenses, but uh, the boxes were empty. Both of the boxes were empty, so there was no contact lenses after I had waited like a month and a half to get them. The box was empty. So I take it back to the post office and I tell them like, hey, like my contact lenses are missing, what's going on, um, like they got stolen. I just opened this in my car so obviously I didn't take them out and they're not there. And basically what they told me is they can't do anything about it and I need to contact Desio to figure out what happened because they said like it's not their responsibility because I guess USPS doesn't have insurance when it comes to the product arriving how it's supposed to arrive. So what I did is when I went home I emailed Desio several times. They didn't reply until like the third email and when they replied they told me there was really nothing they could do about it and did I talk to USPS and all of this and after that I was like okay well like something needs to be done about this because I paid a lot of money like almost like over a hundred dollars for two pairs of lenses and the box was empty. So I kept trying to email them and telling them like no like USPS says you guys have to do something about it and that's I received the package and it was empty. And I got no response for a really, really long time from Desio. And so I went to their Instagram and I would comment like, hey, reply to my email. Like I ordered contacts and I paid for them and my package came empty. Like just commenting, commenting multiple times until they would see it and do something about it. I forgot to mention one thing that I found so unprofessional about Desio. I remember I was commenting on their Instagram that they were being unprofessional and not replying to my email and warning customers about it. And then there was girls talking shit to me back in the comments and Desio, the actual account was commenting like kiss faces to the people who were saying disparaging things to me in the comments. So just a warning they're pretty unprofessional on their social media and they ended up number one they wrote a really rude comment back to me and then they ended up blocking my page right and then I think I tweeted about it or something and I don't know how they saw it or whatever but uh, like a few days later I get a DM from them and the DM is telling that me that they're like really sorry about it and that they'll like send new lenses and stuff and I just thought it was super unprofessional how no one was responding to like my issue 
and how they on Instagram they it was very very like childish like I couldn't believe that that was like a such a big company acting like that on Instagram when my product was stolen and it didn't, didn't arrive how it was supposed to that's just my little story with the Desio brand that's why I don't endorse them that's why I don't talk about them because I really didn't like their customer service and how they treated me so no I wouldn't recommend buying these I would buy the Solatico over the Desio just because of that because not only do I feel like these are more comfortable I feel like they're a, like a better bang for your buck because they, they look better in my opinion also if you go on my Twitter I just took a picture of the two contacts next to each other and um, it was dark last night but I just lit my face up with my phone light so if you guys want to see just a picture with flash how they look uh, go to my Twitter it's in the down bar below overall I would go with the Solatica lenses um, over the Desio I do think they're a really pretty color and stuff and they're nice for pictures but I think the overall like company and my overall experience would make me want to go with these lenses instead of these Desio ones. Let me know if you guys have any more questions about like anything about either of these lenses. Hopefully I'll have more wear time with these lenses so I'll be able to answer more detailed questions about how they feel, how long I'm able to wear them, and all that. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you found it pretty informative. Don't forget to ask questions in the comments below. Don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it. And don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this. Thank you guys so much. Bye.